Do you remember the name Ukrainian girl video asking for help? I am the Ukrainian, the native of Kiev. Well, I'm a Guatemalan, my name is Rodrigo, and I too need your help. I'm not an activist. I'm doing this video alone without the help of anyone. I don't work for and I don't want to work for the government. I have a name and an online presence. Five key differences between Julia, the Ukrainian girl, and me. I'm doing this video inspired in some great YouTubers. YouTubers I ask for help by name. Philip DeFranco, Casey Neistat, Paul Joseph Watson, Gavin McKins from The Rebel, Angry Foreigner, Carl Benjamin, also known as Sargon of Akkad, and believe it or not, PewDiePie. You can look in the internet. I am an independent self-taught developer since 1984. Even though most of my great and great great parents aren't from Guatemala, I am a Guatemalan and I love this country as anyone else loved their motherland. Sadly, year after year, things get worse. How worse, you may ask? Well, I saw most people got angry about a possible Russian intervention in their elections. Imagine for a second, what would you do if you find that Russia invested more than 20 million dollars to change your constitution or your bill of rights? Sounds crazy, right? But that is just what happened here. USA paid to a consultant firm $20 million asking on how to change our laws. This information is online, you can check for it. I'm not a conspiracy theory believer. This is not about the Illuminati and all that kind of stuff. But just imagine what would you do if you know that your media is controlled or influenced by the infamous George Soros? Well, guess what? Thanks to a transparency government website, I have found that an activist and the director of one of the most biggest media here in Guatemala work together in the George Soros Foundation. Again, this information is online and you can look for it. Links in the description down below. Isn't crazy enough? Well, imagine one US soldier die and that his father cannot attend his son's funeral because some bureaucrat in the government took his papers away. By doing so, he cannot travel to give his last goodbye to his son. How heartless could that be, right? Well, that is just what happened to one of our congressmen who had a son who served in the US Army and who got his visa removed without any justification by Todd Robinson, the US ambassador in Guatemala. If you don't believe me, ask him personally. Here is his Twitter account. Did you know that the UN created an entity here in my country, an entity strongly backed by the US, an entity who is supposed to fight corruption, but is just jailing opposition without providing enough proof of their guilty? This entity is called CICIG, and even though they are persecuting well-known corrupt politicians and people who I will never defend, they are not persecuting people who is aligned to their agenda. A couple of years ago, most Guatemalans were happy with the CICIG because we thought they were fighting against corruption. But now we see clearly they are not following all cases equally. Some cases are dismissed. Some well-known corrupt people are not being persecuted. It looks like they are following some agenda. So why me, a tech person, is doing this kind of video? Well, because I work coding all day in front of a computer, I share my thoughts and opinions online. That is my sin, not agreeing with some users online. And each time I disagree with some Twitter user, at least I received the response of 30 different anonymous Twitter accounts. That was kind of suspicious to me, because I have developed an app to get an oversight of each Twitter account. I found a pattern in all these Twitter users' accounts. I shared my findings in my blog, and then a friend told me that there was a political group behind these accounts. And it was true. The group was called Somos GT, which is like we are translated to English. After almost a month following this account's actions, I saw they were actively promoting some reforms to our constitution and at the same time defending some politicians. Helen Mack, a supposedly human rights activist, Lucrecia Hernandez Mack, niece of Helen Mack and now head of Ministry of Health, Attorney General Tel Maldana, who lead the public ministry, which is kind of the Department of Justice. Commissioner Ivan Velázquez from CICIG, who is from Colombia, and Jorge de Leon Duque, human rights obdusmen to be specific. It was surprising to know that these people, being in Somos GT, 
were also hired by Lucrecia Hernandez Mack when she became appointed head of the Ministry of Health. Again, I know this because the transparency website or government have. I shared all my findings on YouTube and the content become viral here in Guatemala. Then more and more people came to me to share their story. There are so many stories about injustice, about corruption, about negligence of the current authorities, especially the public ministry, where some cases are archived and some cases are quickly persecuted. People are found guilty without any evidence or solid evidence. A judge is announcing that the public ministry is asking to rise the number of convictions without any proof. She denounced these pressures to do so, and if not, she will be legally persecuted. An ex-persecutor had to resign because she was asked to persecute innocent people, and now her daughter, a nine-year-old girl, is being investigated by a branch who was created to persecute drug cartels. This is a violation of human rights, of international law, and nobody saying nothing. There are farmers who are losing their land from invasions of allegedly indigenous people. People who supposedly doesn't have where to live, but that isn't true. They have land of their own. They are well armed, well organized, and backed by the UN and the US. Everybody here knows that these groups are not formed by poor indigenous people. They are conformed by mercenaries and they are disguised and presented to the US as part of the International Land Coalition. They are destroying farmers' land, burning some natural protected reserves, cutting endangered trees to illegally sell the wood overseas. They are not protecting the environment, they are destroying it. Juan Francisco Solorzano Fopa, head of the SAT, which is kind of the IRS here in Guatemala, is handling issues quite badly. Even when our law clearly states that some issues must be handled by administrative means, they are handled by legal means. Most business owners are afraid because SAT is jailing anyone who made a little mistake doing their taxes. I know many small and medium business owners closing their business and fleeing the country. So why I am asking for your help? Well, we need that the American people know what is really happening here. We need to the whole world to know what is really happening here. Most of our media is failing us, is failing to report what is happening here. We need you to oversight NGOs and foundations who receive your money, international money, who is supposed to help us, and as you can see, is not helping us at all. Please, come here to Guatemala. Talk to the real people, not to activists who are taking all of your money to live a comfortable, and privileged life in the face of many hungry children, people who is changing our laws by records of very powerful people and getting rich by doing so. Even our human rights activists turned a blind eye when 42 girls were born alive. They didn't do nothing to help them because they were busy pushing law reforms in the Congress when these girls were born alive. Please help us audit and inspect all NGOs, all foundations, all human rights groups, and all human rights activists. Any group who is allegedly, supposedly, helping our country. I'm just an independent developer. You can check my profile in GitHub, in Stack Overflow, on LinkedIn. Most of my fellow coders have already fled the country because all of these things. That is why you have so many immigrants, because day after day, life becomes harder here. I too want to create videos like Casey Neistat, like the Franco, to live a normal life. But if I'm doing this, it's because day after day, it becomes almost impossible. You cannot do it here. There is almost no law. Anyone in the streets is willing to kill you just to stall your phone or your camera. There are thousands of reasons why we cannot thrive here as you do in the US. Please help us and please forgive my bad English, my strong accent. I had to learn the language by myself. I want to share with you more of what is happening here. That is why I'm asking for your help. Links in the description as usual. And don't believe me. Don't believe the media. Come here. Talk to the real people. You can help me by sharing this video. Also, by adding English captions to my other videos. By doing research about the truth and sharing this truth. Don't be fooled by activists disguised as real people. Double fact-checked everything. Check people's background, 
the internet is your friend. Thank you.